So today we're going to talk about some tips to remember when speaking in English. Depending on the context, speaking can be very difficult. For example, if you are doing a presentation or going for a job interview, these can be very difficult and very stressful. But if you are doing these tasks in another language, of course, they can be even more stressful. So I'm going to give you now three tips to remember when speaking in English, whether it be, for example, for a job interview or if you are doing a presentation. Tip number one, take a deep breath. So before you are going for that presentation or for the job interview, what you might want to do is go to the washroom, to the restroom, look in the mirror and give yourself some, talk, some uh, self-talk. Take a deep breath and just relax. Now along with that, what you might want to do are some what we call power stances. So for example, imagine you are a runner and you just crossed the finish line and you won the race. You might want to put your hands up like this and say, I did it, I did it, right? So before you go for the job interview, you may want to try to do that. Or you may want to try a power stance where you're standing like this. This will help to give you more confidence before you start doing that presentation or you go for the job interview. Okay, tip number three, positive imaging. We know that very often before we, for example, again, before we're doing a presentation or before we're going for a job interview, we might be having all kinds of negative thoughts. What you want to do, you want to clear your mind of all those negative thoughts and imagine something positive. So if you are doing getting ready for a job interview, imagine that you just finished a very successful job interview, you're smiling, you're shaking hands, or imagine if you did a present, imagine that you did a very successful presentation and all the people are applauding you. So imagine these things, imagine these things before the presentation or the job interview can go a long way to give you a successful result. Tip number three. Okay, now tip number three, acknowledge that you're nervous. Don't expect perfection. So if you make a mistake, if you say something wrong, simply say, oh, you know what, can I say that again? Or just simply tell them that you're nervous. People will understand, especially, people will understand if you're going through a presentation, or that you're going through a job interview, that you're going to be nervous. People will even more understand if they know that it's not your first language. So again, just admit that you're nervous. It's okay, none of us are perfect. So again, remember that being nervous, if you're doing a presentation or if you're doing, going through a job interview, you're going to be nervous. But remember, everything is going to work out fine in the end.